Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing, not David De Gea, guys, we are going to be reviewing Felipe Anderson. Um, it's some, a card that I wanted to use at the weekend, but I've just got around to using him recently. Well, he's played a bunch of games, but I've just got around to doing this review with him. We're going to be doing one live game today with him and then we will show you the highlights that we did actually manage to get with this Felipe Anderson so far. Um... And I'll just tell you how he actually plays in game, whether he's worth it. So if you enjoy it, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content, guys. A lot coming. We should have a pack video later today. Guaranteed team of the season pack. We have my Elite Foot Champions rewards on Thursday and a bunch of other red player picks, stuff like that. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the team of the season content. Premier League this Friday, so we'll have a lot more reviews. But as I say, we are focusing on Felipe Anderson today. So then, guys, as you can see... Felipe Anderson, he has some incredible stats. 96 pace, 90 shooting, 89 passing, 95 dribbling, 61 defending and 75 physical. These are some stats that you'd expect to be paying for the price. 723,000 on the PS4, 645,000 on the Xbox. Prices have dropped like crazy. He's 5 foot 9, high medium, right footed, 4 star, 4 star, obviously plays for West Ham and is Brazilian, so some very nice links being Brazilian. Um, 96 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, 88 attack positioning, 86 finishing, 99 shot power, 98 long shots, 85 volleys, 61 penalties, doesn't really matter, 91 vision, 91 crossing, 77 free kick accuracy, 91 short pass, 85 long pass, which is very, very nice for a winger to have, 86 curve, which is decent, 96 agility, 93 balance, 83 reactions, 95 ball control, 97 dribbling, 90 composure, some real high end stats, not as good as Thiago, but very, very nice indeed. 76 interceptions. Doesn't really matter too much about the defending. He can do a job as a winger that maybe tracks back a little bit. But 90 stamina. That's an important part for a winger on this game with 67 strength. 82 aggression with 45 jumping. Um, you can see what type of player he is. He's going to be a bit um, weak on the wing as you can tell with most wingers on this game. Thinking Neymar, those type of cards. But he's more expensive than them. Is he better? Finesse shot trait, flare trait, long shot taker trait, and the speed dribbler trait. Some interesting looking stats on this card. And yeah, I don't know how he got in team this season to be honest because I don't think he's had such a great year for West Ham. But we're going to be playing him at our team today. Doesn't matter how he got into team of the season, it's about what he's like in team of the season. We play him in a 4-2-3-1 and the instructions we have as a, as a left camp are just stay forward and we tell him to get into the box for the cross. That's all we put on him. Those are the instructions we play as well. We play pretty much balanced everything for uh, the attack. Custom tactics. Very, very simple, guys. Let's see. Is he better than Foot Birthday, Douglas Costa? Is he better than Zaha? We will have to find out. Let's get into it. Here we go then. Live game for today's video. He has that Watkins, Lippmann and Fred. Very, very solid team. Let's hopefully do some uh, magic with Felipe Anderson. Here we go then. Let's get the ball to Anderson. Let's see what his pace is like. Up against Hector Bellerin. Dribbling is so smooth on the card. You can tell already just the way he keeps the ball so close to him. When you do the ball rolls, the drag backs, that is really good. Can he get the assist to Bruno? Poor touch from Bruno. Felipe. Felipe Anderson. Look at that dribbling. Can he get the finish? Oh my goodness. That is the sort of stuff you expect to see from a Felipe Anderson team of the season card. Golasso. Felipe Anderson is adopting really, really nice positions. When you tell him to stay forward, it's a cam. It's really good, to be honest. He's listening. Zaha. Ball to Felipe. He's picked up a very, very nice sort of position on the wing. Berberspin. Somehow gets the ball still. Felipe. Ah, Felipe. It's not strong enough there. But he's winning the ball back. He's got that. Does he have the fight for the badge? He's making the run down the line. But we don't really want to find him. But it just shows... I think this is one of the biggest pros of the card so far is the movement. I really, really do appreciate the movement for a winger. Anderson. Oh my days. That is beautiful dribbling. Unlucky not to get the assist. Anderson. Beautiful pass to Zaha. Can he get it back? No, I should have just shot with Zaha, but that three-star weak foot. Anderson, how fast is that dribbling? Can he get it across? Beautiful assist, guys. And I think that's a rage quit. Let's get into a second live match. Okay then, guys, into the second live game. Standard team, really. Hopefully, we can just uh, have a really, really good game with Anderson again. There goes Anderson again. 
straight away. You can see what his dribbling is like on this game. It's fantastic, to be honest. The ball stays so close to him. He's going to get the assist straight away from kickoff, guys. It's so nice. Into what will be the final live game. Lampard, Gattuso. It's a decent looking team. Hopefully, we can just get the win. Here we go. Anderson straight away in the third game. Up against Gattuso. Can he just knock it past him? Yes, he can. Gets fouled. <laughs> Look at the pace. Can he cut it across to Zaha? Anderson. The tenacity to get the ball, but the strength is lacking. Still going, though. Anderson. The movement is spectacular. To Zaha. Should be an assist again. Anderson. Great strength for once. Get the ball across. Deli Alley gets it back. Drag back. Can he do the near post? 99 shot power. Okay. My first impressions of this card. This is good. This has been an extended review. My first impressions of this card were he was a bit inconsistent. He didn't really do too much in the game. Guys, these past three games and the games before, he has been phenomenal. Anderson just doing bits from the front and he's on again. He feels absolutely amazing. Can we get the chip? That is fantastic. There aren't too many wingers I like on this game. But Felipe Anderson is definitely one of them. Anderson, the movement is spectacular, guys. It is fantastic. And look how fast his chip again. Ah, no, too close, too close. Flying Anderson again. Burva spin. be nice if he had the five-star skill moves because his dribbling is so good. It's weird for him not to have the five-star. Up against Virgil again. How many times will we face this Virgil? Still going. Offside, I think. Yeah, nice play though. Really, really nice. Go on, Anderson. Let's go. Pace, pace, pace. Ball roll. Oh, no. Good goal. Good goal, Gareth Bale. Anderson. The feint. He's off to the races. Absolutely rapid. Still got loads of stamina. Can I get the cut back? To Bernardo Silva. There he does get an assist, guys. And that is so important to have as a winger. Not only the pace, but being able to pick out the player as well. Felipe Anderson is showing he can do that in abundance. A lot of assists for me. A lot of passes that should have been assists too. Zaha. Zaha and Anderson. Can we make it 4-1? Oh, Zaha. Crossed Anderson. Finishes it off, guys. Yeah, probably could have shot with Zaha, but we have to supply Anderson with a goal himself. What a player. Anderson again. I really do hope I get this guy in reds. As a sub or as a starter, he will be phenomenal. Should be another assist. Bruno. He's too good. He is too good. Zaha. Oh, that's, that's disgusting, Zaha. That is disgusting. So here we go then, guys, into the highlights that we did actually manage to get with Felipe Anderson Team of the Season card. Now, as I said earlier, I don't know how this guy got a Team of the Season, but I'm very, very happy that he did manage to get a Team of the Season because I thoroughly enjoyed using him. I thought he was a fantastic player to actually use in this game. And I was very surprised because the first few games that I played with him, I was playing in Division Rivals. I was using the likes of Zaha, Bernardo Silva... Anderson wasn't really doing too much for me, and I saw a video by, I think, A9 Skills, I saw like the thumbnail, it was like, wow, what a card, or something like that with Philippe Anderson, I thought, is he using the same one as me? Because he hadn't had that impact, and I think that one thing that massively changed that for me was when I put some instructions on Philippe Anderson, I, I, he has high medium work rates, but when I told him to get forwards and actually get in the box for the cross, he did exactly that, he listened to the instructions, he was phenomenal. And actually making the runs and being a really, really good winger on this game. If you watch any of my live streams, you know that I don't really get along with wingers on this game. Neymar, Mbappe's winger card. Um, there aren't too many I get along with. So for this team of the season, Felipe Anderson, to come in and literally just really surprise me with how he played was fantastic. And we're going to talk about his pros because there are a number of pros which I think are important for you guys to know whether you're going to buy the card or not. So, first one for me, pace, pace, pace. You, you obviously know pace is going to be one for Philip Anderson. And um, 96 sprint speed, 96 acceleration. Just uh, make sure I'm saying the right things. 96 sprint speed, 96 acceleration is a fantastic attribute to have on a card. And you really do feel that in-game. I showed you with him running past Gattuso like he wasn't even there. 
He was rapid and he was able to do a lot for me in game. Due to that pace, it just creates space on the wing. And I love playing the Y pass down the down the line, as you see there, Tierney to Philippe Anderson. When you've got someone running behind who's willing to make the runs, that is what you need. It's like a classic winger, as you, you might hear sometimes. Passing was really good. I think you saw that as well in the live games. He should have had more assists. He definitely should have had more assists. And speaking of assists, he had 16 games for me, 7 assists and 6 goals. That's how he played for me. So he was very, I would say, consistent in getting involved in each game. I think that if I was continue, going to continue to play with the card, he would do even more for me because I really feel like I've unlocked his potential now. Stamina, 90 stamina is fantastic for a winger. Felt like he could go all game long even when he was just involved the whole time. Dribbling, obviously so good. The ball rolls, the burba spins, everything felt really quick. And one thing I love about um, wingers sometimes is the five when they have five star skill moves. He doesn't have five star, which I think sort of simplifies the car because if he was five star, I'd probably be doing the flip flaps. I'd probably be doing all this stuff that I try and do with Neymar, which ultimately frustrates me. Because he's four star, it feels like he has a lot of control of the ball, um, and you don't really try too much with him. It's just efficiency. Do get him in behind. Do the simple ball rolls, do the bow spins, things like that, and you will score or assist with this Flair Anderson. Look how good he is at doing the uh, body feints there. He's versatile as well. I probably wouldn't play him at camp, but he can definitely play as a striker in like a 4-2-3-1, 4-4-2. I think he would make a good striker due to that incredible pace, guys. I do think he would be uh, very good at striker. Probably not the finishing that you'd expect, but um, it's a very good um, card for that position, I would say. Movement, as I've said, was fantastic. Links and the shot power. Shot power, 99. As you could expect, the near post power shots were insane for this card. Really, really think that was his best shot to take on. Cons for him. So, A6 finishing is not probably good enough for a team of the season card at this stage. But he felt like he could finish. I'm not sure how good he would be at long shots, things like that. Because of that finishing, I think it did ultimately let him down. And is a big reason why he's not got a higher rating. 9.2 is still fantastic, but a few things as well. The strength did let him down. Only 67 strength for a winger. You don't really expect them to be too strong, but it would have been nice for him to be, feel a bit stronger in game, but that doesn't deter away from his rating. He still gets a strong rating of a 9.2. I really do hope I get this guy's a red on Thursday. He would be phenomenal. Surprised me a lot. I think he will surprise you guys a lot too, and I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, smash like down below. Subscribe for a lot more 5020 content. Should be, a, um, I'm not sure whether, I think I said at the start, this is going to be the start of two videos. I think I'm going to leave it now because we, it's close to 6pm now. I'm going to open that pack, probably get that video up tonight. This one might be tomorrow, so you've probably already seen the other one. Hopefully we pack like Phillips or Anderson, something like that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you later.